All right, everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you how to patch a hole in some drywall. So the first thing you're gonna need is a patch panel about the same size, roughly, as what you're missing. Okay, so what I did was I went out in the garage and I found this piece of scrap plywood or where I'm just gonna kinda of cock it up in there and get the first screw started. Once that one started, I can swing it down. Tighten it up. And run my other screw in. Maybe. I'm gonna have to cock that off to the side a little bit, but that's fine. Because all that really matters is that we have a good backing for the drywall to go into and then we can sink our screw down into it. So now we should be able to get our next filler piece in. So you want those screws to go down into the drywall a bit so you can fill them in. And there we go. So what I've got here is a little spackling compound and or joint compound putty knife. You don't need a large one for this since you're doing such a small area. And I'm going to make sure I shove that down into the cracks really well. Down into the screw holes really well. Then I'm going to come back with a little extra joint compound and try to fill this in a little bit because it looks like for whatever reason this drywall piece, even though it was cut out of the same wall, seems to be sitting a little down into the wall a bit. So I'm going to have to leave this alone, come back, let it dry, come back, sand it, and then put a little bit more joint compound. All right then, so I've given this a few hours to dry. I'm gonna come back with a little bit of a larger um, drywall knife because I wanna smooth this out as much as I can. That definitely feels dry. It's been several hours now. So I'm just gonna get a bit of the joint compound right here on the corner. I'm gonna smear that into the opening. And I'm gonna go ahead and give that a couple passes with this wider knife. Making sure I fill in all the voids. There's a little bit of a void there, still a little bit right there. So I'm gonna give it just a little bit more compound. Starting up at the top and pull it down. A little bit right there as well. I don't wanna make too much of a mess here. I think that's good for now. I'm gonna give that some time to dry, then I'll come back and sand and then see how we look then. Okay, so I let this dry it overnight real quick. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of flatten it out a bit before I go any further. I've got a sanding block and a bit of sandpaper. It doesn't really matter what grit you're using. All you're really trying to do is knock down some of the high spots here. That's your goal. Now I'm gonna turn on the vacuum cleaner so I can grab this dust while I'm doing this. So you're not gonna have any audio, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So you see, I really didn't sand for very long, but it did knock down a couple high spots. You can see where it um, kind of took some of the paint off here and you can see where it sanded down into the paper area of the drywall here. That's really all you wanted with this. And I think at this point it's ready for some spray texture. If you want to check to see if there's still low spots, you can take any straight edge and just kind of place it there and see if there are any gaps. If there are, you can put one more layer of the spackling and then do one more quick sanding. Otherwise, you can do your texture. Okay, for the spray texture, I'm gonna use this right here. I've used it in the past, it works pretty good for little small patches. What you're gonna do is shake this like crazy. 
get it nice and mixed up. And then once you shake it for a while, you're gonna break this little tab off right here. Take a piece of cardboard here, and then you're gonna practice getting the uh, text desired texture that you want. So I've been shaking this for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it up. So that's way too heavy. <laughs> that's not even really coming out. So I'm gonna twist this and try to make it more fine. As you can see, that's coming out a lot better. I think I want it a little bit more fine for my wall. You wanna to try to match the texture that you have on your wall. Maybe a little more fine. So I think that's probably pretty close to the texture I have on my wall. So I'm gonna go inside and spray. All right, so as you probably noticed while spraying outside, this stuff does get a little bit messy. So make sure you mask off any areas underneath where you're going to be spraying. Otherwise you will end up ruining some furniture. Once you're back in the house, give it a few shakes again, and then start adding your texture. So now the goal here isn't to cover the entire area, it's just to have it blend in with the wall. So maybe what you need to do is add some texture like I did and then kind of feather out away from that a little, just so the texture blends a little. And that's probably good enough right there. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I may just need a little more right around the patch area. That's pretty good there. So we're gonna let that dry for a couple hours and come back and paint. So I've let this dry for a few hours and you can see that um, I did do a little bit more spraying just around the middle here. And then I also had a couple spots where you can still sort of see the grooves there, but I'm hoping it, once I painted, it's not quite as noticeable. That was there when I bought the house. So I just tried to texture there a little bit. This here, Maybe you see a little bit of an edge there, but I think once it's painted, it's gonna blend in pretty well. So I've got a little paint roller here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll some paint. We'll see how it looks. So you may need to let that dry for a few minutes and then come back, but this is looking pretty good. So after two coats of paint, this is what I'm looking at. I can still see the f ever so faint indention of where the hole was, but it's pretty good. And honestly, this is gonna be behind a TV. So not that big of a deal as far as I'm concerned. If I would have put one more coat of the, um, the joint compound and sanded it again, that would have been completely flat. You wouldn't see anything. But standing back, I mean, you really don't see it at all. And again, there's gonna be a TV right here, kind of covering that, so not a big deal in my case. So I hope that helps you out, guys, and uh, helps you with uh, repairing your drywall. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the rest of my channel as well, guys. Everyone, if you enjoyed today's video, I would invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below right there on the right hand corner. And if you felt that the products in today's video is something you might like to own yourself, there's a product link right up there to the right, upper right hand corner, or down in the description will be a product link for you to purchase the product as well. Thank you very much for watching YouTube.